Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing it really really well. Um still in me little whatever you call it, a sling. Still in that. I just wanted to update quickly before I get into this exciting video that um I've actually got an appointment on the 4th to see a surgeon um just to basically hopefully just to say everything's healing fine you're going to be all right or it could be you might need an operation but let's think positive and let's hope that i don't need an operation but i will obviously keep you all up to date with that anyway so if you want like regular instant updates just follow me on my instagram i'll leave it down below um also follow the lash bar um the lash bar 2020 i've also got loads of new lashes out there these lashes that I've actually got on today, these are the Wink lashes. That's what I've named them and I really love them. They're so comfortable. Um, why am I out of breath? Um, but yeah, that's like a little update, but let's get into the exciting bit. I just wanted to um, basically explain a little bit about what I've done to my sofa. I have dyed my sofa with special leather paint. Uh, I put a little video on TikTok and everyone's like, is she going mad like what is she doing why is she using paint um but it's actually proper leather paint um so you can you can use this on sofas you can use it on handbags you can use it on shoes you can use it on car leather seats as well anything that's leather basically there's always something out there for something right so i got this off of amazon all in one um actually it was either amazon or ebay i'll leave it down below anyway so i got two of these so that was like one liter it was about I want to say about 40 pounds but come on like 40 pounds for this or 800 to a thousand pound for a new sofa you know so anyway this is why i wanted to go ahead and dye the sofa don't get me wrong i love the color but i wanted obviously gray i love gray so i decided to you know what i've seen a few people do it i'm going to go on to online and buy the paint and do it myself um i probably should have waited until i had both arms that i could use but i was very impatient i just wanted to get it done um, so I used all-in-one colorant. This is light gray. There is so many different colors. Um, I follow the DIY Facebook group. There's like hundreds of thousands of people on there and I've seen so many people do their sofas like from red to brown or red to white or black to whatever color they wanted. There's so many different colors to pick from. Um, but this is what it looks like guys. So I will obviously show you a little bit of me doing it with one arm, but I was determined to do it. Um, but basically it did say a lot of people use gloves and a sponge. So I did do that with the pufta. I um, put some gloves on and tried using a sponge, but it just wasn't going on as nice as I wanted to. Bearing in mind, it dries really, really quick. I was doing it out in the sun. Um, a lot of people apply their first layer of dry with a hairdryer and then go over it again. Um, but with how warm it was out there, I didn't need a hairdryer. So I basically used a sponge and I didn't like how it was just applying. It wasn't applying it thick enough or just very even. So I decided to go and get one of my makeup brushes because I haven't got any paint brushes. So I went to get a makeup brush and I obviously cleaned it. And then I went, I was happy painting my sofa with a makeup brush. It worked really, really well. Um, I couldn't go get a paint brush. It was late in the day and I think it was like a Sunday. So it would have been shut. So I just used a makeup brush and it worked really, really, really well. I'm really happy with how the sofa actually turned out. It just, it looks like a brand new sofa. I'm really, really impressed with it. And, you know, like I said, it's, these were 40 pounds for both. So I'd rather pay that than a thousand pounds for a new sofa. So I just wanted to share a little bit of that of how I basically done it. And um, before I painted, it said to like prep your sofa, clean your sofa, get any like oils off anything like that because i use a lot of sephora or comfort on my sofa to make it smell nice i needed to get all them out or the paint would not stick very well so i used a good old elbow grease before i painted so i just sprayed this all over the sofa and just cleaned it down with a microfiber cloth and it worked absolutely fine and then i left it to dry for a bit then i went in with the paint so i put the paint in like a little plastic bowl that i had and then I just used the makeup brush and I was well away. And I still need to do the back of the sofa, but I'm not really fussed when I do that because it is against the wall. You can't really see it, um, but I will eventually do the whole sofa. But I just wanted to share like how I did it. And I'm really impressed with it. It looks like a brand new sofa. Obviously, um, I will keep you all updated if it chips or if it wears or anything like that. 
Um, I don't know how regular you need to paint it, how long it lasts. I'm not too sure about that, but at the moment I love it. And if it needs keeping up painting, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. It's quite therapeutic to paint instead of a wall. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how, what I used and how I did it. <laughs>
gonna end the video here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smash a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below and please subscribe as well because that would mean so, so much. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this has given you some inspiration. And take care and I'll see you all soon.